question. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you about um, some of the, the conversations that you have on wiretap with your friends like Jonathan and Josh. My and Jonathan, um, but with um, Howard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. No, sure. I actually once tried to do this thing where I talked to myself over the telephone, and it was like, it was just so weird. Yeah. Anyway. So they, they, they're absolutely hilarious, you know, and they come across as very spontaneous, and I'm just wondering, to what extent, do you, do you write both sides of those, or, or are they sort of more spontaneous, or do you write your end, and um, that's the question. It, it, thank you. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Um, it's it's different depending on who I'm working with. Um, uh, like I'll, I'll often have like a structure. Um, it, it's sort of actually the way that I've I've heard Curb Your Enthusiasm is done, where like there's a there's a structure, and then within that structure they improvise the scenes. Um, so we'll record for about like an hour, uh, and then it will be cut down to about six minutes of hopefully the funniest stuff and. It's different, like with Howard, where we, you know, lately we've gotten into a groove where he'll feed me lines and I'll feed him lines and some will work and some won't. Um, I've done stuff on the show with actual professional improvisers and um, di very different, like with those guys, like, I don't know, maybe just the way that they were schooled, like they will stay in character the whole time. Whereas like with my friends like Josh or Gregor or Howard, um, like we don't have any formal dramatic training or anything, so we'll just like start and stop, start and stop. You know what I mean? And that and that works for us. So it's different. Like sometimes there's really like a. Um, sometimes I I will actually script it out like loose sort of like jokes that I want to do or jokes that I want them to do. But oftentimes it'll just be more freewheeling, you know. And that yeah. So it depends on the person. Hi. What got you into radio? Um, well, initially it was sort of a way of. Like I said, you know, like I was writing stuff and it was sitting in drawers and it was sort of, it was a way to, it was a, you know, a way, a medium for, for the writing. Um, I think I started to appreciate radio as a, as a, a language unto, its, unto itself, as a, a medium, you know, with its own kind of grammar and syntax and um, what was when I started to work at This American Life. I think, and that was really where I went there as a fan of the radio program, and um, but then developed a love of of radio, uh, you know, as I and learned how to use music and learned how to mix and uh, tell stories that were specifically suited to the radio. Um, so I guess, yeah, I guess I guess that that was how it sort of happened.